So I made a status on Facebook the other day about how people will always come up to me and be like, hey man, what's your favorite TV series? But you never get someone coming up to you and saying, yo man, what's your favorite book, son? You see, people in this day and age have their priorities all fucked up, right? Um, chasing pleasure and forgetting all about fulfillment, forgetting about knowledge, right? You see, I used to be one of these people that back in the day I used to play hundreds and hundreds of hours of video games like Elder Scrolls, Four, Oblivion, RuneScape. And I used to really enjoy that. That used to be my thing. Um, I wouldn't mind spending eight hours a day just consumed in a video game. But these days I can't even spend 30 minutes, I'm not even joking, I can't spend 30 minutes playing any game because the gimmick is gone, the amusement has gone. It's as if like you kind of see the game for what it truly is, which is almost a waste of time. Now I'm not saying you shouldn't play video games if you enjoy them or if you, you shouldn't watch TV if you enjoy watching TV. You should be able to watch all your favorite shows like Game of Thrones, you know, Walking Dead, whatever. But you should never allow the, you know, consumption of this media to take up the majority of your time. You should, this should not be your main priority in life, watching these TV shows or playing these video games. You should be out there on the pursuit of knowledge, right? Knowledge! You should be out there trying to learn about maybe Marcus Aurelius, about, you know, the Epicureans and stuff like that, philosophy, how to make money. How does the world really work? Why are these, you know, guys in Syria doing what they're doing? What's going on, really? You see, when you start devoting yourself to building your brain and, you know, excelling that way, it stops becoming really enjoyable. Like, I, in this day and age, will enjoy sitting down and reading a good book and broadening my mind. It's something that makes you question things, something that makes you, you know, go, wow. Something that really um, mind fucks you than playing a dumbed down game. And if you can get through the initial inertia of making this a habit, the pursuit of knowledge, you, I'm telling you, will enjoy this more than your previous addiction of video games and TV series. And when you have a conversation with people, they will really be able to tell that this is an exceptional person, this person is well read and knows what they're talking about. And that's a really good quality. So try make that a habit doing small steps, maybe read for 10 minutes every night or watch a documentary or something that just challenges you a bit more than dumbed down media because dumbed down media is going to get you exactly what you deserve. To be also, there was a story of a man that had to fix this big intricate device, right? They called up heaps and heaps of technicians, hundreds of technicians offering um, money for whoever could solve the problem. People tried all sorts of different things that they learned from the university and whatnot and what they learned from school, what they learned from their experience and no one could fix it. But then they called this one old man who had been working at the factory where this machine was established for about 30 or 40 years. He walked over to a particular boat and tapped it three times and the machine started working. So he asked for a million dollars but the person said, why should I give you a million dollars? All you did was three taps. The guy replied, it's because I had the knowledge to fix this that other people did not have. So if you have knowledge, people will pay you for it. That's the gist of the story. So go get that knowledge. People that know things are who make the world run. Peace.